being said, Nick, let's let's talk about uh, Margit or Margit, however you want to say it. Mar Margit, Margit. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like what, like the the first wall. Yeah. That yep. people run into, um, and I feel like it's a it's a great it's a great learning experience for a lot of new players. It teaches them not to just repeatedly bash their heads into a wall, but to to go out and level up. And I I really like this boss. I think Margit's move set is really cool. I think it's a it's a really difficult boss. Like it's it's really hard if you're under leveled. Um, but of course, with the summon outside, and then you can use the the jellyfish to kind of tank a little bit. It's a little bit more manageable. But yeah. But what do you think? How do you like it? I, I loved it. Um, I, I thought it was kind of <laughs> kind of brilliant on From's part. Just like a because they you know they give you the kind of the guide and in, in this game with the with the grace points. Um, telling mm -hmm. you where to go so like i think it's funny that they just immediately <laughs> send you in the direction of, of margaret and and for a lot of you know for a lot of people that haven't played this game um are gonna be like well what the hell like this is just insanely hard how would you send me here <laughs> but you know you can you can cut right at like that little village or whatever you go to and then make your way south and and you know you know grind runes and stuff like that so uh, i think that was kind mm -hmm. of brilliant but yeah definitely definitely the first wall of the game um probably one of the hardest harder bosses in the game i think because you know this is prior to the mimic yeah. so like a lot of these bosses are probably a lot harder if the mimic wasn't involved um and we'll try to take that into account yeah yeah too definitely, definitely. but um yeah i'd say this is one of the harder bosses even i would say this one is definitively harder than than Morgoth, which is you know kind of his um his other alias um okay. just because you're so you're so much more prepared later on during yeah. like later on in the game but yeah this is this is a good fight i would i would rank this as nay if if i'd be so inclined i i, I would too i think i think that's i think that's right on the money it's 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 hard it, it really because you can i mean you can you can you can definitely deflect and, and parry him um mm -hmm. which kind of teaches you how to do that um yeah, I mean, it, it teaches you that you probably need to bring in a summon, like you mentioned, with the uh, the jellyfish, yeah. or or maybe the if you go down and get like the skeletal ashes, I think from I don't remember his name, but one of those you know the the riverboat uh, guys that you know ring the ring the bell. Um, I think I bell? think I use yeah I use one of those on there the dinner bell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think A is I think A is good. I like I, I would I would recommend an S, but. There's one set of attacks that he does that that's really bothersome to me, and it's the little like side swipe, uh, lightning blade attacks. Oh yeah, yeah. And I don't, I don't think they can be parried, and they're really unpredictable. And it's just like it's, it's. I feel like it's one too many, one too many moves for this boss because this move, this boss already has like what, like, <laughs> like 20, 20 attacks or something, something ridiculous. Probably not that much, but yeah. Um, it feels like he has an infinite number of attack patterns. Yeah. And that just kind of like adds on to the chaos of his like, you know, seven string attack. I'm like, dude, like just give me a break for a second. Yeah. And especially when, whenever, if you, if your summon dies or something like that, it's just, he's pretty hard to all pressures on you. Yeah. All pressures on you. It's pretty like, yeah, like you said, like, and, and I feel like his stamina is pretty high too. So he's just yeah constantly barraging you um, with, with, his move sets, but yeah, I think A is perfect. Again, I think you're right with with uh, that annoyance being held back from S tier, um, just because it's kind of difficult to dodge and and uh, parry and stuff. So I think I think that's yeah. a good one, good spot. Uh, is is Godric next? next? I think so. Okay. Um, Godric. So yeah, Godric's second second boss fight. Um, in terms of just the arena and like his first form and then freaking ripping off a dragon's head and using it as a sticking it on his arm um is pretty badass and like yeah, just moves, the spectacle yeah alone. His, his moveset after that is pretty pretty awesome um yeah, yeah he's got a really cool, cool fight. set and he, and he, he wasn't has, he wasn't that hard either i think i beat him on like my second or third try yeah he was just more of a cool it was more of a cool fight because he has like he has the ground stomps he has yeah. the winds he has I think he has some light, some lightning, and then of course he has the fire in the second in the second half. Yeah, um, it's just it's just one of those cool fights. Like 
it's just it's badass man it's badass yeah. fight yeah it's it's the first fight where you're like i think i think elden ring is an anime game because <laughs> it's just yeah. ridiculous like oh my gosh it's so over the top but um and that that happens so much in these like main bosses where halfway through a boss will like cut off their arm or cut off their leg or something and yeah just like i don't know it's just, it's just ridiculous yeah. it's ridiculous more so than any other souls game before yeah and i and again i'll, I'll bring this up later on but uh it's a two-phase fight but they share the same health bar which is nice um and i i definitely like that a lot uh but what, uh, what are you leaning towards i'm thinking i'm thinking like maybe like a b a b yeah what do you think an a or s i was thinking an s s why 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 you say it's b just because it's not hard enough because it kind of i think it's i think it's a little bit too easy okay um i don't know i guess we just go in the middle on this one then a right <laughs> it's cut it's cutting yeah cut the cloth down the middle okay uh yeah i think it's and you know it's it's hard because obviously you know you want to feel i think it does a good job making you feel like a badass in this in this boss fight um mm -hmm. and, and any time like a boss fight is relatively easy i guess that's cool for the player um but yeah, yeah it was, it's, I, it's I reassuring like, yeah I, I mean like most most boss fights if they're really hard like maybe seven to ten times is usually what i'll die on and that's and then i then i get over that hump but yeah this one uh, i think i fought him once died came back later and i think I, I came back with like a really good uh summon ash i think i had i think i'd mm -hmm. actually gone down into the um what what's the what's the underground place oh siofra yeah i went there that the siofra river and, and did all that and came back with a really nice um summon ash that i used to, oh, nice. to beat him so maybe i was just ever leveled i don't know for that part but my my, my dumbass was using the flail I, I was i was leveling the flail i was like yeah this is the weapon i'm gonna level up this is this is the path i'm gonna take i'm gonna, nice. do, I'm gonna use the flail which has like <laughs> has no range absolutely no. no range and i used it for uh for Marga as well, and I, I do not know how I how I got by with that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So I think after that fight, I switched to uh, the Bloodhound Fang. Yeah. And yeah. the rest is the rest, rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, A for A for Godric. Um, again, great great battle, great fight, cool uh, cool second phase. Um, what's what's next? The uh, the the big dog. The Red Wolf of Radagon? Yes. Okay. That is up next. Um, I, I found this fight to be really annoying. Like he has he's fast, he's he's hard to he's hard to attack, um, especially if you don't use a summon ash. Um mm -hmm. he's got a huge, like huge, like uh got big range. Big range with that sword that he has. Um Yeah, I, I like most most cause the, he does appear throughout the game again like in a different name or something like that um and all those boss fights or all those fights in general i find just really annoying he's just he's really quick and it's it's hard to hard to hit him yeah and i was and I, I, I was under leveled at the time when i first fought him but uh even when i came back and and beat him i was still like just not a still annoying playing fight yeah yeah i don't know if you you never played dark souls one right not i never finished it no okay it's, he's like a he's like a like a lame version of sif sif is like one of the it's like a big ass dog okay that you fight and has a sword in its mouth oh okay. um cool so this is like a lamer version or like a okay. lame version of that so it's just I, I would agree with everything you said i don't know where you want to rank this one but i would i would i would think like c or d i don't think it's terrible but yeah i would i would probably i'd probably say c okay I don't think yeah, it was a, like right. like you said. I don't think it was a terrible fight. Um, I just think it wasn't a fun fight. It uh, it just was more annoying than anything because it was it wasn't terribly hard either. Um, just more annoying than anything. Yeah, you kind of it, it's kind of the same syndrome as the final boss where you're like chasing it around a little yeah. bit. Yeah, any, too yeah much. pretty much any any boss where I have to chase is is a no, an annoyance to me. <laughs> yeah, where I have to waste waste stamina to yeah. to run after you. Yeah um next up is Renala, right yeah cool 
Um, Rinala. That's this is a cool one. Yeah, I, this is like a this really fight. really cool. The the lead up to the boss is kind of a pain if you don't get that shortcut because you have to. Well, I guess without that shortcut, you have to jump on to to the staircase with the rolling ball. So you have to do that every time. But if you find that shortcut, it, it'll take you right there. Uh, but it's got like and, that that NPC that's right in front of there that you either beat or just run away from. Um, which he and he's pretty he's yeah. pretty tough too. Um, so the lead up is a little bit annoying uh, if did, if you don't find that shortcut. Did you have the Statue of America when you played? Like when you died to to Ranala, did you get to respond at a uh, statue? I don't remember there was one for that one. Was there? Okay, there must be now. If there wasn't, there is one now. Okay, maybe I maybe there was right outside of the room. Oh, okay. Yeah, there there may have not been one when I beat it. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't realize that was something they added. Yeah, but this um, uh, this boss it reminds me a lot of Bloodborne. Yes, yes, it is one. Um, of the, there's there's a couple of other boss fights that are very Bloodborne esque, but yes, this one yeah. is awesome. I loved it. Like even the first half where you're just kind of like, you're just mauling on Renala and going around and like you know fighting these little little people. Yeah, that whole the like, whole oh, scene of you walking in there and you just look down and they're like looking up at you is super unsettling. Yeah, it was very creepy. Then they start throwing books at you. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh my God, is this the fight? This can't be the fight. Yep. And it is one of those fights where you get, you give Renala's HP down all the way. Yeah. And then the second fight is another, or the second phase is another HP bar, but it didn't feel, it didn't yeah. feel like that. Yeah. Cause like the first, the first, the first phase is, is really easy. Um, as long mm -hmm. as you can just avoid their, the, uh, the attacks uh, and if you've got, especially if you've got your mimic, uh, I don't know. If, would you have the mimic at this point? I don't know if you did or not. No, you wouldn't. You, okay. you wouldn't have the mimic until after, until after Radon. After oh, that's right. After Radon. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, th I think I just yeah, I just use one of my summon ashes. But uh, yeah, that, the first phase super easy, super quick. Um, yeah, it's it's hectic because there's a lot lot going on, but it's it's pretty it's pretty easy to get through. So yeah, like. Like uh, my, one of my biggest complaints about the game is the two phase fights that the second phase gets a full health bar again. You're right in this case, and it doesn't feel like that in this one. Yeah, and then the second phase, if you have like any heavy weapon at all, you can kind of stagger her out of using any spells. Yeah, and it kind of yeah you know, simplifies the fight a lot because I think the first time that I the first playthrough when I beat her, I just ran up to her right at the beginning. Yeah, and she never used any of her summons. She did. I, I think she did one on me where down. she spawned. I think some wolves or something, um, in one of the play one of the fights. Because I think I, mm -hmm. I think I died maybe two or three times on the second phase. Um, because I, I beat her pretty quickly, um, after after I discovered her. But yeah, it's, yeah. But you're right. Yeah, yeah. If you get in her, get in her face with the uh with the bloodhound fang. It's it's hard to uh it's hard for her to do anything really. Right, and you can even if she summons someone, if you start attacking her. I think the summon will disappear if you yeah. stagger her. Yeah. So it's like there, there's not like too much danger aside from her, like kind of like Comet is her spell and then her summons, but that stuff is, you know, pretty, pretty avoidable. Yeah. What are you thinking know. rank wise? I'm, I'm leaning towards a B. Yeah. I think so too. Um, Cause it's, it's a really, it's a, it's a really like visually looking like great fight um but it, it is very easy very easy fight it is very well. easy yeah and and if you do die on the second phase it's kind of a drag to to do the first phase again especially if you can't find the correct minions to kill yeah because the ones that are correct are the ones that have like the circles around them right or like they're glowing yeah. or something like that and they're throwing books at you too yeah, yeah. Or they're shooting books at you so it's I, I guess it's easy to find but i had trouble a few yeah, times there's there's a couple times there was like one left i'm like okay where is it where's it at <laughs> yeah uh yeah i think i think b is probably good uh it's a great fight very very bloodborne-esque um visually looks great yeah both both phases are cool but um really easy just a really really easy fight but i mean it makes you feel good when you when you beat her you're like yes so it's kind of like what is it the celest the celestial embassy emissary yeah in bloodborne the one with all like, the little like blob guys yep yep and you have to kind of find the right one it's kind of like a little game of hide and seek yeah kind of so it's, it's a cool fight <laughs> yeah all right what is up next well i guess it's kind of open so 
the next required boss is the draconic tree sentinel outside of Lindell Castle, or okay. Lindell Capital. But we could jump to Radon. I don't think I have that one. Well, it's listed. not. I mean, I guess it's an area boss, but it is required. We can we can skip over it because it's just, you know, a, a tree sentinel. Yeah, but... it's yeah. We'll skip it because yeah, it's it's not a. I mean, it is required, but it's but it's area. Um, I guess if you don't talk about it real quickly, uh, I I struggle on this boss. I I died Me a too. lot. Um, because he just yeah. had a lot of HP. You know, he was always on the horse. It was hard to. I mean, he had those fire attacks that he could shoot at you if you got away from him. Um, mm -hmm. which did a ton of damage. Um, even my mimic, even having the mimic there was was a struggle. Um, yeah, yeah. I I think I ended up barely beating this boss, uh, even even with everything leveled up and, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. I mean, boss wise, it was kind of. I don't know. Like it wasn't like the the, the tree sentinel fight because I felt like the tree sentinel moved a lot more. This this guy didn't i feel like he was very kind of stayed in one place yeah stayed in one place which you know i guess better better for worse but um yeah it was an okay fight it was just like the tree sentinel but just way harder way stronger way harder yeah i, I had a i had a better time on the on the mage build yeah because i just <laughs> you know just hit him with the kamehameha for the beginning and then yep. yeah because i mean he's just standing yeah. there so you can get pretty close to him without him getting triggered yeah so yeah, this fight was okay. I think it was more of a headache than anything. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you want to you want to jump to to Radon? Let's do it. I'll talk about Radon. All right. Uh, yeah. Easily, probably one of the most badass fights in the game. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, just, um, just getting to to Red Main Castle and like, there's no enemies there, and you you walk into like the gate and like there's you see like the the giant pot guy, um, and then I think I think Blades no, there too. Yes. Um. And then you walk up to like the the jester looking guy, and a cutscene triggers and it it shows like Radon and his tiny little horse <laughs> that he's riding, which is so funny. Um. In like the battlefield, and it just kind of explains like his backstory. Um. Yeah. And then you make your way up and and go through the the tel the teleport gate and. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, for most people, you probably instantly get one shotted by his arrow and die. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was me the first time. Yeah, that same same here. Um, yeah, a also, really a really badass fight. Just a side note before we before we get into it, but yeah. I had I had a lot of enemies in that castle because I, I guess I went there early enough. Okay, or before a certain event. I think I don't I don't know when you went, but I guess I hadn't triggered something, and like I had to fight my way through that castle, and then there was like another boss. Um, it was actually like a double boss fight in kind of that main area before you go to Radon, mm -hmm. like where all the, where all the NPCs are. And I ended up leaving cause I was under level and I came back later and that boss fight was gone. So you I could, guess I triggered. You could something. do it again. That boss I did fight. do it again. Okay. Yeah. Cause after, you, after, you, yeah, after you beat Radon, you go back and talk to the, the, I can't remember his name, the jester guy. And you go back to the, to the nearest uh grab I i'm saying this for not for you nate but for other people um you go back to the grace <laughs> point you go back in there'll be a fog door and i think it's the bloodhound knight and something else that you fight and the crucible knight and the crucible knight um it's the not bloodhound it's misbegotten misbegotten warrior. yeah yeah which is a, which is a cool fight too um yeah that one you can kind of rock you can rock the misbegotten warrior with your uh with your bloodhound fang oh yeah yeah you just stagger the crap out of them yeah um but yeah back, back to we're yeah. <laughs> it's uh a redan um yeah it's, it was a really i think it's one i think it's the only boss fight that you can summon like multiple multiple and in, in, like npcs to help and also like i think the only one when you can summon it like what during the fight so just like, summoning like and for 10, good reason too <laughs> yeah and like 10 npcs into that fight is is so awesome to watch them charge him and attack like you could you could probably for the most part just kind of stand back and, and let them do the damage and then i mean you'll have to co eventually come in there and attack unless you revive them or something but yeah which they yeah you can revive at some point i don't know exactly what triggers that maybe just it might be after the second phase starts you can go through and revive again okay um yeah i mean even radon as a character is is really cool because yeah. 
have you he, i'm sure you've like read about his backstory or heard about it where he was kind of done dirty by uh millennia and he got the scarlet rot and he's essentially like become like this beast and he really can't control himself, but everyone respects him. So they hold this festival yeah. to get him an honorable death. And that's kind of where you come in. <laughs> and then at the same time, he's like holding back the stars with his with his magic powers. He's yeah. like essentially stopping like meteors from coming down. And then he also controls gravity so he can ride his little horse that he's had since he was a kid. So he's like, yeah, after, he's after cool. reading all that, I was like, man, this guy's this guy's pretty cool. He's yeah. pretty badass. Yeah. How, how, what was your reaction the first time like he jumps up and disappears and then just like comes down as like a meteor? Like that was such a badass I was moment. Just like, oh no. <laughs> it, it didn't hit me the first time. I don't, I don't think I ever got hit by it. Um, but yeah, when that, yeah. when that happens, I was just like, oh my God, like what is this guy? Like he's ridiculous. Yeah. He's, he's, he was crazy hard the yeah. first time. And then after the patch, I think he got a little bit of a nerf. I think he's just, kind of less aggressive yeah. and does less damage yeah, he, I, can, I, he can just about do like a, a 360 degree attack um which is yeah. which is hard because you're i mean you're trying to wait for your, the npc the npcs to to get his attention and then you kind of go around back because i mean I, I think most people probably just stayed on torrent the entire time that's that's what i did um i did the first time then the second time i just ran straight in Okay. And didn't didn't bother with it because I had the the dual wield, uh, bloodhound fangs. Okay, and yeah, beat him first try that time. But nice. <laughs> I can't tell you how many tries it took the the first time around. Yeah, it, it took me a lot. I I definitely came back to that fight, but um, I don't know, Nick. Did you, is this an S tier material? This fight? is a, this is an S. Okay, <laughs> I, I think this is firm. It's a firm S. Yeah, it was. It's probably one of the coolest boss fights in a in a Souls game ever. It was funny too, like when when this when this game first came out, I saw a lot of people saying they're like, "Oh, this is the worst. This is the worst design boss in in FromSoft history. Like this boss is so unfair. It's so broken." And at the end of the day, I think did, people did they were fight just the nameless under king in Dark Souls Three. Yeah, really. <laughs> there like is. I think people were just under leveled because I'm sure a lot of people went straight from like. Yeah. Um, uh, straight from Stormvale to to Khaled or Khaled, yeah. Um, which is what I did at first before going to Liernia. So I'm sure that's what happened with a lot of other people. But yeah, looking back, this fight is it's an S. It's yeah. an S, baby. Yeah, it was it was a a, a fun cinematic, just crazy. Like the, the whole because like my strategy was um, I would there's there's these kind of these posts or something like that throughout the scattered throughout the battlefield. So you can, you can hide behind them and duck and avoid his, um, mm -hmm. his arrow. Cause that thing will almost one shot you if you're, if you're low leveled. Uh, and then I would just kind of make my way up to the left spawn, I think blade. Um, and then by that time, most of the other ones that I spawned have gotten his attention. So we stopped shooting the arrow and then I'll just go on torn and get, and then just summon the rest in and then, and then head in from like the back. And, and yeah that. um so he, I mean, he always oh go ahead good no you good good he always did that raining arrow uh attack on me as yeah. i was getting blade over on the left side yeah and like it man the thing was so hard to dodge like it just kept on following you yeah so it it, it did a lot of damage to me but um but yeah eventually he's, persevered yeah he's uh he's definitely he's definitely tough even even higher level like two or three hits he, he'll take you out quick mm -hmm. um if you're not careful but yeah. yeah, fun. Definitely. Yeah. S tier, S tier fight for sure. That's S tier. Fun. Our first one. First one. Yeah. Um, let's so, see. What is next? Yeah. Who's, who's next after? Cause I guess you can go, oh no, to get to, to get to Alt Altus plateau. And, and we missed this, but, um, you have to fight, the the fire worm guy i guess you don't have to i guess you can get the the invitation the invitation so the, yeah. never mind that's not a required boss i just i did that both times because that was like the fastest way to do it but yeah what is it what is next after i guess you get i mean to i've got the capital, i've got right? the magma worm here on this list if you want to rank it 
We can. Okay, well, let's rank it. I mean, this is a boss that like shows up like 50 times in the game. So yes, it does let's just rank it. Um, yeah, I think it shows up what here it shows up. It shows twice in Volcano Manor um, or yeah. around that area. And then Mount and, and, and then Volcano in, Manor. And then um, in the in the consecrated snowfield. Yes, that's the one. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's it's an okay fight. Like he's he's a dragon. He's a he's a, a worm or whatever kind of thing. So he doesn't fly or anything. Um, it's it's a big boss. It's a big Dark Souls fight. You yeah. know, it's it's one of those like oh this is a big enemy, but if you dodge correctly and avoid the fire, yeah, that's the main should, thing is just avoid the fire fun. and you know take him out pretty easily. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm thinking like C maybe. I mean, it's an okay fight. Yeah, I'd, I'd give it a C. Yeah, I'd, I'd give it a solid C. Yeah. It's not. It's I not too the, hard. It's not. T- too easy it's kind of in the middle like you said um he he does get tricky though when he when he reaches around behind him to to spew the fire yeah that caught me off guard a few times i didn't know he could do that yeah yeah but yeah i mean it's a it's a it's a fine it's a fine fight it's not not anything crazy but well since we're over in the volcano manor do you want to talk about record yes okay i do um so we approached this fight in different ways. We did, yeah. So what I did is I I, I went through, fought the mag. Well, I guess no. So when I was in, um, Rhea's castle, um, I fell down or I dropped down to like the the low level where there's like the the wind or the the water mill, um, and I got abducted by the the the, the abductor virgin, uh, and it took me to the volcano manor. Uh, and I got stuck on that fight because it's a it's a dual fight. Um, I got stuck on that fight for for a long time and ended up coming back. Um, but after I beat him, then you wind up in the Volcano Manor area. Um, so I just went through like the front door of Volcano Manor uh, and met the met the people. I can't remember their name, but I started the quest with with them. Um, and then after you do their request of going and killing the other tarnished, uh, you get the invitation to. They're like, hey, Riker wants to meet you. And it, it's they teleport yeah. you to the Riker's, you know, right outside of his, his boss arena. So how did you approach it? Because I know you did it differently than that. I I found Volcano Manor um, just by going through Mount Gilnier. Okay. And I, I did talk to all of the NPCs there, but I found, I think there was an illusory, illusory wall okay that i found in one of the rooms and it takes you around back and then you end up like on the other side of this bridge that you have to activate from the other side so i kind of went through went through this whole level went around i mean it was like a it's like a pretty it's like a almost like a dungeon of sorts but just kind of like in the volcano yeah i see i see there was like bridges and stuff so i I was trying earlier i was trying to figure out how to do that so now that i know I'll, I may just get back in there and do it. Just is there anything else worth in there? Like, is there any like mini boss fights or anything like that prior to Rikard? Uh There's a lot of good items, and then you okay. fight the Godskin. You fight one of the Godskin. Okay, so I, I haven't done that. Okay, cool. He's the the bigger guy. Okay, that rolls around. So I mean, you like you, you would have fought him. You would have fought him going through the game, but this is him just by himself. Right. Okay. Cool. And, and yeah, then you get a grace point, and you kind of have to like go around back, and then. You finally end up on the other side of Volcano Manor, and then you find a teleporter. Okay. And that brings you to Rikard. Oh, okay. So either way, it, it teleports you right outside of his. Okay. Yeah, there's not like a like a surefire, like a straight way to get there. Okay. There's always a teleporter. But on my second playthrough, I did do it your way, and I did the quest line. Cool. Because I needed that final sword from um. Yeah. From that one guy. But yeah, this fight. I mean, it's it's like, it's kind of classic because there are a lot of gimmick fights in souls games where like you get a certain weapon and that weapon does damage. Do you remember what fight there's, I think it's either dark souls two or three, but it's, I think it's the giant that you fight and you have to go around him. And like the sword is sitting and like on the yeah. pedestal or something and you have to pick it up and it kind of does three. the same thing. It's like a wind based damage fight um, or weapon. You yeah. Remember, yeah. You remember that, that was... fight? Yeah, it was Dark Souls 3. I can't remember the name of the boss, but yeah. I think it's some sort of giant. Yeah. Um, but it's similar to that where you yeah. just you pick up the weapon when you walk in. And, and it's nice because like the boss doesn't immediately attack you yeah. when you walk in. So you can, you know, equip it and everything. 
which is a great quality of life improvement over the last one in Dark Souls 3 where you're panicking. Yep. Um, but I didn't realize the reach on that thing. Yes, I didn't know ridiculous. how far it would go, but yeah, you kind of like, you kind of eviscerate the boss with that serpent, that serpent killer. And you yep. can even upgrade it if you, if you go back to, um, to the round table. Yeah, but, but, but it sucks is like that move, that move doesn't work outside of that, that boss fight, which, which is, yeah, longer. it doesn't carry out. Um, cause it's a super powerful like, against him specifically. So I had, I had the mimic at the time. So it was just me and the mimic <laughs> just constantly doing the, uh, the, the, the special move and we were just constantly mm-hmm. staggering him. And it was, a uh, I think I died two or three times cause he, he is, he gets pretty buffed on the second phase. Um, but all in yeah. all, man, I, I thought this boss fight was so cool. Like it was such, such a cool boss fight. Yeah. Like this is, this is that gimmick fight done right. Yeah. And there was even one more in dark souls three where you're, uh, it was like the, the something old Lord or something. And it was just really their hands and head. Yeah. And you had to attack the, the bracelets yep, yep, to yep. kill them. So yeah, actually dark souls three had a lot of gimmick fights. <laughs> now that I think <laughs> about it um but this is one of those but done but done right yeah it looks super cool and you can and even after you beat him if you come back one of the uh one of her one of his servants are is laying there uh and you watch like his head like stuff is still coming out so like it 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 says that he'll probably come back to life at some point um yeah and i think that's what the what the queen says she's like he'll he'll regenerate or he'll come back anew um that's cool. I mean, I don't know. How would you rank this boss? Would you? <sighs> I would say like an A or B. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm thinking A, just because it's. It's. I don't think it's quite like Radon level. Um, because like of, of badass. Yeah, because I mean, with with Radon, like it's still really hard. Like this one's pretty easy. Um, so I, I would probably say, probably say A for this, just because it's, it's just a fun fight, fun gimmicky. Yeah souls fight that you're kind of used to in, in the, the prior games yeah it's, it's, yeah yeah and it's, like, it's visually visually stunning it's it's a, a, a awesome fight mm-hmm. um right, what do we got next cool uh what is next so we cover volcano manor um i guess we're going up to atlas plateau we already talked about the the draco Draconic tree sentinel. Draconic, yeah, tree sentinel. So I guess it would be, um, it would be Godfrey. Yeah, Godfrey. Right? Yeah, um, the 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 um the like the spirit form of Godfrey. Godfrey. Remember that fight? Spirit form of Godfrey. Yeah, you you go up the tree. And you fight the spirit form of Godfrey, and then you go up even further, and that's where you fight more God. Okay. God, I'm trying to think. It was in the it was in like a smaller room. But it's in the it's in the Lindel Castle. So is that is that prior to Gideon? Like the NPC that gets summoned in. Yeah, that's that's the next time you go back to okay, okay. to uh, Lindo. So is this the is this the one up in like the Elden, up in like up in the Elden Throne area? It's before that, but it's in that like that stopgap area where you have to where, like you go up the tree and then you yeah. fight him and then you have to kind of like go outside and jump on a tree and go up and then you kind of make your way up to another area with a grace point and then you can go up to the Elden Throne that's area. Where, that's where Margaret's at, right? Morgoth. That's where Margaret. Yeah, Morgoth. Okay. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, let me look it up real quick. I thought. I, I think I maybe had it. Because Morgoth's the one with like the, the second phase fight, right? With like where he throws you and stuff. No, that's Godfrey. That's the second time you. So you fight Godfrey twice. Okay. The first time is his um, spirit form, and then you fight Morgoth. And then when you're back at Lindell, you fight uh, Gideon. You fight Gideon, and then you fight Godfrey, and that's who has the second phase. Okay. So more more God is the first one you fight at, at, the, at Elden, the Elden Throne. At the Elden. Okay. Okay. That's that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
I think I just I think I beat him so easily that I just I don't remember him. Yeah, I think this was like a first or second try on the on the first playthrough. Okay. Man, it's weird that you don't remember this one. <laughs> yeah, I get... just flown by it. Um, you and the mimic. Okay, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I, I remember it now looking at it. It's like the golden like spiritual form. Um C. <laughs> yeah, I if I don't remember it, can't that remember well, it. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I, I I mean he's got like the same basic attacks, right, as the the first form of Godfrey. Uh when you fight him the second time. Does he have the same like moveset? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Just kind okay. of on a smaller scale. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would say I would say probably <laughs> probably a C. Hold on. Oh shit. Refresh. There we go. Okay. All right. Um Yeah, let me let me do that. Let's see. I don't think I even have damn not even on here didn't yeah, even not, get on yeah, the it's podium. not even on here <laughs> <laughs> okay so after that then it's then it's margot right morgot morgot yeah Morgat. Se- secret margot some would say yeah secret market um yeah this this is a really cool fight it, it was it was pretty easy i think with with the mimic um <laughs> but yeah it was it was a cool fight yeah on my second on my second playthrough i faced him without the mimic okay of course, I was a magic user though. Yeah. And his his wind up going into a second phase is so long that I use my uh, common azur and just killed him from a second phase in one blast. Oh gosh. Um, so it was kind of trivialized by that spell, but I can see how he'd be pretty hard. He has a pretty good move set, um, and he's pretty strong. So I mean, I, I wouldn't say he's like he's not more he's not more powerful than Margit just kind of thinking of it i mean he's got similar move sets to to margaret right um yeah it's pretty like similar pretty similar he's just i mean he's got like that 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 blade uh right where he throws down the um the blades or whatever um oh yeah yeah he's got that big the big blade move yeah um, yeah i think it's i think it's a good fight i, I don't think it's I don't think it stands as strongly in my mind as Margaret does. Yeah, yeah. Mainly because like, it's, it's just a... I, w- I would say maybe like a B, I think. Yeah, I think B would be good for that. Okay. Yeah, that whole, like, the whole Lind- the Lindale area is kind of just a blur right now to me for some reason. <laughs> yeah, he's got to go through it twice and then... Well, I just remember yeah, like... just, the, the mimic, I was just like so overpowered <laughs> at that point. <laughs> Yeah, just slaying these bosses left just and right. Slaying them. All right. Um, let's see here. What we got next? It's so after this, you go to the mountaintop of the giants. So is it fire giants next? I think fire giant. Okay. Is after this. Um, I I've only fought him once since I've since I've only, I haven't done new game plus yet. Um, I mm. totally cheesed him. I, I did the the cheese method where you can make him fall like. I, I've, I fought him until his second phase, and then I went around the cliff, and he fell off and, and died. Um, I, I didn't like this fight at all. I, I thought it was too slow. Um, he, he had a lot of damage. It was it was hard to attack him in that second phase. Like the first phase is pretty easy. Like you just attack his ankles, and pretty gross. Like he <laughs> yeah rips his ankle off. Yeah, pretty much. Just like I don't think it fully falls off. I think it's just like hanging there by like a couple of <laughs> tendons or something. It's pretty gross. Um, but that second phase, I tried it a couple times, and he had a lot of like pretty much one hitters on me that could just knock me out immediately. A lot uh, of AOE attacks too. Yeah, a lot of AOE attacks. I, I thought this boss sucked. Like to me, this one fell yeah. in the unfun category of boss fights. Um, yeah, like I, I thought it was all right the first time I went through. I don't think it took me too many tries. But when I went through with the mage build, it was just it, it was just so so hard because i wasn't doing any damage yeah and just being a mage you don't have a lot of hp so you're just getting almost one-shotted by all these attacks and i even tried i even tried your cheese method of uh dropping off the cliff but he didn't die when he when he stepped off so you have maybe they get him to the second phase no it was just in the first you have to do the second phase that's that's what i realized weird okay yeah um because it only takes like I think it only does half damage or something. I, I'm not quite sure what what the criteria is, but yeah, if, if he's in his second phase, 
uh, he'll he'll die immediately. Yeah, I'd I'd give this one like a D. Yeah, it's yeah, I don't know if it's quite an F for me, but I, th- I think a D is probably pretty good for that. I think I'm saving F for a special boss in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> the God Skin Duo. It might be up next, actually. Um, actually, I think it is because you go to Faramazula. Yep, and then then it's then it's uh yeah, God Skin Duo. God Skin. Let's talk about it. F. <laughs> Yeah, this one it sucks. This one sucks. It, or at it, least it, it did. It did before they added a summon outside of the door, and they might have nerfed it a yeah. little bit. But yeah, I, I'm gonna go F. I, I hated this boss fight. I, 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 I did the method of you know you bring in the mimic, and whatever whatever one he attacked first, um, just get get your hands in there and do it. Yeah, I, I, I've I especially hated the, not the I think it's not the apostle, but the other one, the the fat one um mm-hmm. i hated that one because like his roll move it lasts like two or three seconds too yeah. long um combined with the other guy it just it sucks it, it really sucks this whole boss fight sucks <laughs> he didn't do that at all the second time around really you probably just killed him so fast he didn't have time yeah <laughs> or maybe they took out the move set i don't know maybe. i don't know yeah i think i think this boss fight just just sucks it, it's yeah it's, it's a bad fight it's just you know and yeah, we, we kind of talked about this last week, but you know, double dual boss fights are fine when one of them hangs back and one of them kind of comes at you, but both of these were charging you. Yeah. And it's just one of those fights that expects you to use a summon. Yeah. And that's fine because, you know, summons are in the game, but it's kind of weird building a fight around that. Yeah. Uh, I think I think From knew what they were doing when they had the grace point right there. <laughs> And I didn't find that grace point until the second oh, time. No. So okay. I had to run down. It wasn't too far, but I had to yeah. run past two of the knights. So sometimes I would get hit by one of the knights and have to waste one of my heels. And I was yeah. like, oh my God. Yeah. So I'm glad I'm glad there actually is a, a grace point like right there by the boss. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you wouldn't have hated it the first time through if you'd have known about that. I grace still would have hated it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's an F. It's it's a bad. It's one of the worst, uh one of the worst fights. Yeah. Um then Mal Malaketh, the black blade. Malaketh, yes. You, uh, uh, I, I beat that on my, we were we were chatting on the, the the voice chat and I beat him on my first try, uh, which was insane. Did. But again, like I I said that at the end of that fight, um, yeah, I was you know I still had plenty of heals and I was healing and my mimic just ran in charge and did like the the two handed like jump attack and, and killed him. And I was like, man, I just, wish I would have like videoed that and slow moed it because it was so badass. And that's when. <laughs> You had said the mimic is everything you want to be in more. Um, but but yeah, this this boss fight was pretty badass, I thought. It is. It's 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 quite a spectacle, especially the second phase. And the second phase is really hard. It is, yeah. Because is. he's very, very aggressive. He jumps around a lot. There's not there's not much downtime between no. his attacks. No. Um so it, like it is a hard fight despite you beating on your on your first try it's it's hard lucky. it's harder than you think okay yeah. <laughs> i struggled. No, it's, it's, <laughs> i struggled hard um yeah it's it's a good fight i think it's kind of seeing him cuz this is the same guy right as is this the same guy as the guy at the uh i i can't confirm it for sure but i'm assuming not since you killed him because he, he shows back up or he's still there as the beast man or as the beast man or whatever in the, in the 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 bestial sanctuary uh, but it yeah. could be i mean there's plenty of times you kill somebody in the, in the game and they come back so it could be the same person but i don't think it is um but yeah that that second phase where he pulls the freaking sword out of his hand is ridiculous oh, yeah. and, and yeah. badass where would you where would you put this one <sighs> it's hard for me to say because i beat him with first try <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking like just visually and his move set wise like i'm thinking maybe like an a um maybe okay. b yeah i would agree with that I, but I, whatever whatever you have to say about it because you fought him more than i did i only fought him the one time so it, whatever I, I would go off of whatever you want to say so if you're thinking b I'm, I'm fine with b i would say a okay i would say a. he's got a, he's got a really cool move set it's it's challenging but it's not it's not impossible and the the spectacle of it is is really cool. So I, I'd give it an A. I yeah. don't think it's like I don't think it's S tier, but yeah, yeah. Nick, let's take like a minute or two break. I'm gonna go grab a drink. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll mute it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we just talked about Malaketh. So now we're back at Lindell Castle. Back to Lindell. That um, means we're at Sir Gideon. Sir Gideon. The all-knowing. Yeah, this this boss fight was really easy. Um, I, I don't know. Did you did you struggle on this fight? Uh, first time through, no. It it was first try, but second time with the mage build, he was he's tough. pretty hard. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty tough. So I don't think it's a particularly great fight just because it's a fight against, you know, an NPC essentially. Yeah. Um, so I would think of it as like a C or D. But it's all right. I mean Yeah, I, I'm I would, al- cool I would almost put it as like a D fight. It was Yeah, let's let's call it let's call it a D. Let's just call it a D. Um because it it it's really not impactful. I don't I don't think it was a necessary fight to have. I, I just think they wanted to throw something in that room. Yeah. <laughs> and they added him in. But like with with the boss rush that happens at the at the end of that yeah. game between Malaketh and, and Radagon, like I don't think they needed another boss fight, to be honest. No, no. And spe- yeah, especially since you, you actually fight Godfrey too between that. Yeah, it was just a lot. Yeah. Um Let's see here. Do you want to just jump into Godfrey or do you want to talk about? We've still got Melania to talk about. Mog. Mog. Uh, yeah, let's let's talk about those first. Okay. Uh, let's do Mog. Let's do Mog. Mog. Um, Mog was cool. That that whole like uh, leading up to to him and stuff. That area was was pretty cool on the other uh, underground. I, I can't remember what it's called, but um yeah you you go in and yeah he's, he's a cool he's a cool fight i liked him a lot especially as like a second phase where you know he's get the he starts like flying around and stuff with the the wings it's pretty cool and you're talking about the one the lord of blood in, one the lord of blood not yeah, the no, underground one not the not the yeah not the one in like underneath the lindell capital okay yeah yeah this yeah that um that fight was really cool. All of his. Which uh, now, his now that you say effects. that, I don't understand why they're are they are they two different people or are they the same person? I don't. I think it's two different people. Okay. Okay. I believe. I'm not quite sure. Confirm that. I, I, I've I've killed Lord of Blood first, and then I went yeah, back and, and I was like, oh, Mog again. Okay. Uh, but yes, this is this is the Lord of Lord of Blood Mog. Um, which is a really cool fight. I, I thought. Uh, yeah, he has. He has... Oh, good, good. No, you guys, good. He has that cool effect where in his in the start of his second phase, he starts regaining health again. So yeah. it's kind of like a play on you know the two health bars between phases, but not really. Yeah, um, it's yeah, it's 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 bearable. It's tolerable because <clears throat> I got him down really low in his first phase, like probably like a fifth health left, and then he started you know regaining all his health, and I was like, oh boy, yeah. here we go, we're in for it. But it wasn't too hard of a fight. Um, I don't. I don't think. I think I was pretty. I was a pretty high level by the end of the game because I fought him after. Yeah. Uh, Radagon. But. Yeah, he was. A, he was a. He was a cool fight. Cool. You know, cool setting. Cool arena. His flying move was really, really badass. Yeah, it was super cool. Uh, I think I, the first time I fought him, I think I've got him. So low on health that it there wasn't any red left oh god uh and then he ended up like doing an attack and killed me and i was like whatever it, like the stake stake of morocco's right there so it was it wasn't yeah. a huge deal and i was like well, I lost and i think i think i died maybe two or three times so i think i all in all i think i was underneath uh, under five times of you trying to, mm-hmm. to fight him um but yeah I, I thought it was a really cool boss it wasn't anything like crazy or ne- necessarily memorable um I, I would say it's like a B. Yeah, I, I'm thinking like B a B too. fight. Yeah, I, I would say B. But it wasn't overly like, challenging. He wasn't too too easy, especially with his uh, his re- regeneration capabilities. But um, yeah, it was, it was a cool fight. Yeah, cool fight. Do you want to do you want to talk? Uh, Melania. Yeah, let's do it. Melania. Right. If to get to Melania, do you have to do you have to fight Commander Neil? because you get that other half of the halog tree i guess technically yeah medallion i mean we can talk about it that's fine we can talk i just about fought commander, him commander nile or whatever nile. Oh, yeah, nile yeah 
yeah, he's over. He's over in the mountaintop region, uh, the, the the giant region, um, probably the like the consecrated. No, no, he is in the mountaintop region. Yeah, you're right. he's in, yeah. yeah, he's in like the top left corner. Um, so it's technically an optional dungeon, but yeah, to get yeah, you do, you do need that second crest or seal to to get to uh the hallow tree. Um, yeah, at first, at first, I I fought him and, and got destroyed because he he has two other soldiers with him. Yeah, I was um, like, "What the hell?" How and do I, I was like, how do "I do this." I was like, "I'm not gonna beat this guy. Like, this is this is way <laughs> too much." Um, but luckily, after I came back after I had leveled up, and I think one of the knights charges you pretty quickly, so you can you yeah. can eliminate the other two pretty quickly. Um, and then it's just like a sta- kind of a standard fight. Like he could, he's got some some pretty interesting moves. That stomp, his electric boot yes, stomp, yes. that thing is really cool. Yeah, and it's got a good tell, so it's it's a it's pretty easy to dodge overall. But I just I love that. I love that move. I think it's such a cool move. Yeah, it is. Um, th- I thought because I-, I fought him and beat him prior to, I think prior to the Godskin duo. Um, over in Khaled. Yeah, over in over in Khaled. So, uh, yeah, I-, I at first I was like, man, these these two these two fights, I hate them. I, the two the two, and this is like this is three people you get to fight, uh, but they're they're it's it yeah. really wasn't as bad after you fought him a couple times. And I think if you and I don't. I don't recommend it, but if you were to just go for go straight for Commander Nile, um, he'll eventually despawn the other two guys. Oh, okay, okay. So you could kind of try to like gank the other ones with like a summon or something if you yeah. like summoned like a pack of people, and then you could go over to him. But um, both times I fought him, I just killed one of the guys and then killed the other, and then went to yeah, yeah. Uh, Nile. So not too bad. Yeah, I don't I, know I, where I was... I'd rank him though. <sighs> I'm thinking maybe like B, I, I would say maybe C. Uh, I would say C. C. No, actually, no. Yeah, no, I'd say C. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we'll say yeah. C. Yeah, it's not. It's not a great, great fight. Um, it's not super memorable. No, it's not. We uh, forgot about him until yeah, <laughs> until just now. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, there is another fight between uh, Nile and Melania. And that's what, Loretta? Yeah, I was going to say Loretta is, is in there. Um, I I didn't struggle. I think I beat him on, on my second try, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it was kind my of first or second. Once, if you can like dodge his arrow, uh, which will just about one shot you if you're not careful, um, I just staggered him with my with my... Uh, bloodhound fang and just killed him with, with the mimic too um so again it was kind of it was kind of like a, a tree sentinel fight it wasn't mm-hmm. that great because it's on a, it, it was easier on a, yeah um it's on a sword i mean she's on a is it a she or he it's a she. it's a she um yeah pretty easy i mean she's got a huge arena which i thought was definitely not necessary <laughs> Uh, I, I didn't I even know if like you could, one portion of it. Yeah, I didn't even know if you could spawn torrent in this fight at all. Um, I didn't. Even no, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. I, I would say probably a D for this one. Be, D or C. It wasn't bad, but it just wasn't that memorable. Who, I guess Loretta. Who's down at Who's down at D? I can't. We, I can't. We've see We've got it Fire Giant screen, but... and uh, Gideon at D. Okay, I would call this a C then. C then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What when when you go to? I'm trying to think. Is it, the mimic tier? That's not in between anything, right? Anything major? Not between anything major. Okay. Is that on this list? It is. It is. Uh, I, I would call that one an S tier. It's probably the hardest boss in the game. It's either S or F, depending <laughs> on how you play, right? <laughs> I don't know. I, I I fought him today, and my uh, my my duel bloodhound fangs he was he was doing some work he even put some he put some poison grease on it that i've never used <laughs> i was like damn you're using my build better than i am <laughs> hey we'll throw it on there as an s then uh because i i just fought him as as is i just had my weapon and but i still destroyed mm-hmm. him but i know a lot of people you can you can go into the fight naked and then equip all your stuff real quickly and it's just an easy fight so it's yeah. as hard as you want it to be uh, and i sure. think that's beautiful yeah which is cool it perfectly encapsulates the mimic yeah just ah it's so great but anyways are, are we are we on to millennia i think are we are Melania? all right 
Yeah, so this is probably one of the hardest bosses in the game. Yeah. Um, if not for if not for the two separate health bars, but for her attacks gaining her HP every time she hits you, even if you're blocking, I think that's you know it's, it's pretty powerful. Yeah, yeah it's, it's interesting. Yeah, it and it's not a lot, but no, it's not. But like I, th I think the mimic. I definitely use the mimic in this situation, but the mimic also takes a lot of the regeneration that she gets mm -hmm. because. You know, they, he just he just runs in and and doesn't care about blocking necessarily, um, but on the off chance she's really easy to stagger, so you can she get, get her um, stagger pretty pretty easily, especially with the mimic doing half a damage or seventy five percent of the damage, whatever whatever <laughs> whatever, whatever it the used case to be. Is. Um, yeah, and then like after you get the first phase and that that second phase comes in, she's got the scarlet rot. Uh, it's, it's so cool. It's so cool. And it's also it's it's pretty easy to dodge, like you can dodge that pretty easily, and then just you just have to be patient and not run in like you did, Nick, and lost four hundred and eighty thousand runes, whatever it was. For the win, though, you got the dub, though, man. You got, got the, the dub. It counts. Yeah, this boss is amazing. I think I think this character is really cool, and it's always it's always fun facing like a more agile, quicker yeah. character. Kind of reminds me of. Um, the, the DLC boss from Bloodborne, I can't remember her name, but it was pretty oh, similar to that. some. It's pretty similar to that one, and then there's probably probably a boss in Dark Souls Three or Bloodborne somewhere that's also similar. But yeah, I would I would rank this like an S. Yeah, I, I think I'm because it's so cool. Yeah, it's 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 cool. It's definitely hard. It's it's definitely one of the hardest. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I still think Margaret Margaret takes the takes the cake for the most boss most I died on a boss even well I don't know that last boss fight was pretty annoying um it's either between that or the last boss fight but um God, I think I died underneath ten under ten times with Millennia um just, I think mine was around ten to fifteen yeah it could have it could have been a little bit more than ten I'm not I'm not quite sure but I just don't remember mm -hmm. I, I guess because you're right there it doesn't feel like doesn't feel like too much yeah it doesn't feel like too much so. that's the case for a lot of these bosses luckily is you can just respawn yeah right there and jump back in yeah it's nice. exactly <laughs> it's nice um i guess up next is what godfrey yeah the actual yeah. form and his his second part um yeah this one he has a lot of aoe attacks or, he does arguably too much yeah like there there was like there's like the 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 fire stomp move where he does like he cracks the ground in front of you um he just has the regular stomp where yeah. it, you know a big circle aoe and then he has some pretty good range with his weapon mm -hmm. um and then not to mention a second form which his his ground stomp literally covers the yeah, entire it's, arena it's super so you have to jump to, over it or yeah, it's roll. super hard to dodge um a little, little bit of rng with that because like i think mm -hmm. when i beat him i think he only used it maybe once um or i, I don't know but uh but yeah i mean like the, i thought the boss fight in general was was fun it was it was a cool boss like the second phase um the, the wrestler the wrestler <laughs> yeah like he just like picks you but yeah him picking you up and throwing you is, is devastating uh so yeah it's, yeah, it's tough I, I knew he had the one where he came at you and grabbed you and picked you up straight in the air mm -hmm. and came back down with you. I did not know he had another move where he just picks you up and just freaking chucks you. Yeah, yeah. I got, Throws I got you like a football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got definitely got hit by both of those. Um, so he was tough, but again, like just not super, super. I didn't die a super ton on this one, but uh, so mm. I don't know. I, I would say if I got a rank, I would probably say well, – not if I got to, we have to. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I would probably to. say like a B. I did not love the AOE attacks. Like you said, I think he had a little bit too yeah. much. Um, yeah, I, I would say a B. What, what, what would you say? I would agree. I would agree with that. I okay. think I think B's good. I uh, I like I like the boss itself, but just kind of it's his move set kind of throws me off a little bit. Yeah, and maybe that'll change over time. Um, but yeah, some some parts just feel like kind of RNG, like you said. Yeah, kind of feels a bit unfair depending on, you know, what side what side of the coin you get. Yeah, uh, I would agree. And then, uh, then are we? Here's when we get to your favorite. Uh, 
Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Wait, who else is on here? I mean, we've got Estelle. Um. Okay. okay. Like the the dragon. I mean, we could talk about whatever. Um. Maybe we could just do. We'll, we'll do Radagon, and then maybe we can do like a five to ten second split second decision. Okay. What would you give this boss? Yeah. For the rest of them. All right, so Radagon. What's going on, Tuskaz? Um, yeah, Radagon. Radagon mm-hmm. and the Elden Beast. Um, yeah, I think the first phase is is a pretty pretty fun, uh, you know, final Dark Souls esque boss, kind of similar to um, the the final boss in Dark Souls Three, like you mentioned before. Mm-hmm. Um, I think some of his some of his attacks are a little hard to dodge. I don't. I guess. Even if you get the iframes right and yeah. you roll at the right time, I still feel like you get hit sometimes, which is kind of weird. Yeah, and he and he can like cover ground like pretty quickly on you, mm-hmm. um, which can be a little bit of, can be a little bit annoying, um, especially if you're trying to heal up from his you know previous AOE attack. So first phase I like. Um, it, it's tough. It is it is a pretty tough pretty tough fight. It's not it's not a guaranteed that you'll get through it every time um, to the second phase um anything yeah. you liked in particular about the first phase or didn't like or I, I mean i thought for the most part he was relatively manageable aside from his like three three phase ground pound attack that he does yeah that was the last one's delayed yeah and i always forget that it's delayed and i'm like shit <laughs> um yeah that, that move killed the... me plenty of times yeah and then any any grabs that he does where he pins you down and just beats on you for for a couple of seconds that that's kind of annoying but i think for the most part it's it's pretty it's pretty manageable that first half and then of course you get to the the elden beast in the second half and harrison i know you you have some opinions on this one yeah i think i think the elden beast is probably the the worst boss fight in any (laughs) souls game ever um and, and granted i haven't i haven't played i haven't played uh demon souls and i haven't finished dark souls so i, I don't know maybe there's something worse but it's at the, the arena to start is is too big um yeah I, I feel like For i sure. spent most of the time you know running up to the to the elden beast and by the time i got to him like my endurance would would be pretty low or, or almost gone and then i have to kind of wait a few seconds but then the time you wait he's winding up for a new attack and there he does you know, and he has like a, a couple of attacks where he can, you know, get away from you. And then he has like the one, like his three swor- sword swipe that sends like lightning damage or whatever. Holy damage. Holy damage that. towards you. Um, and then he has like the one where it's pretty easy, but it's it's kind of like it. I can't, I can't really describe it, but it's he shoots it out and it kind of starts up and then you have ch- a chance to to dodge or, or run to your left that one's pretty oh, he, easy to dodge like the mist that the explodes mist. yeah the mist that explodes that one's pretty easy to dodge but um but then he has the sparkles yeah <laughs> the holy sparkles that he throws at you which last forever they do they last way too long like at a certain point i was just i was just standing there or walking and i was just healing through them yeah i was like all right i just i can't dodge these i can't i can't run away from it i can't walk through it because i'll just get hit again um so I was just like healing through it, yeah. And yeah, that, that, yeah. This this second half kind of ruins the first half for me because it's so it's too big of it's too big of an arena. Yeah, it's too big of an arena. Yeah, it is. Like that's if they just cut it in half or just adjusted its move its move set where it's not frantically moving around the yeah. And that's the problem the too. It's, it's constantly going underneath the the water. Um. So when you when you do get to it um it's gone it may be gone again so it, it's it, that, that part's super frustrating yeah um so I, I don't know where it's kind of tough to rank this one because it's two fights and i like the first one fight. of them is good um, yeah I don't do know, we call man. it a c <sighs> or, or, or are you thinking lower <sighs> I'm, I'm okay with c i, I think the if first like, i think I'm not, I'm not saying it's an F. I, th- I think I think the first fight. I think the first phase is fun, um, but also the first phase. I, I I don't mind dying necessarily, but knowing how annoying the second phase is, it it almost kind of makes me 
yeah i don't know because you know if you if you don't have enough flasks yeah going in you're like well this is a wash yeah that's it yeah there's no point i don't know i'm looking at d to be honest hey man if (laughs) if you want to i hated this fight if you want to call the final boss a d i will let you do that i hate this fight like i (laughs) I, I would almost prefer the Godskin duo over this than that fight. I just, I hated it. Damn. Yeah. And I hated the Godskin duo fight, but yeah. This one was just a little bit long in the tooth. It was, yeah. It was, it's, it, it felt too long. Um, At least with the Godskin duo, you can, you can, you can sweep through their health pretty quickly. You can, yeah. It's just managing those, those two bosses. Yeah. Well, that's, I that's, guess those are, the main ish boss i mean some of those aren't like the main bosses that you have to that you have to fight but yeah those are like the big ones i'd say that's a pretty good spread i mean of course not all bosses are going to be great but no for the audio <laughs> listeners i'm going to run through it i'm going to run through our list yeah please so at f tier we have is that the godskin duo <laughs> f tier yeah godskin <laughs> okay at d we have the fire giant we have uh, Radagon and the Elden Beast, and then is this Sir Gideon? Gideon Sorry, I'm yeah. trying to trying yeah. to read off of your, off of the Twitch stream. Uh, see, we have the Red Wolf, we have the Magma Worm, Commander Nile, and then Loretta. Loretta. Mm-hmm. B, we have um, Renala. Oh my God, I'm trying. <laughs> Do you want to just read them? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, B- beats here. We've got Renala, um, uh, Margot, Mog, and Godfrey. The uh, the the second time you fight him, I guess with with his um, with the second form. Um, then you uh, A tier. We've got uh, Margot, uh, Godric, Rikard, and Malaketh. And then an S tier is Redan, the good old mimic tier. And Melania. So nice. Yeah. Um, quickly, do you is there anything on this list that that's already kind of generated? Because I I just picked a tier from Tier Maker, said that there was stuff that we weren't didn't necessarily have to talk about. But like, is there anything on here or like like the Godskins we can we can ignore? Um, the Crucible Knights and I think Misbegotten we don't have to talk about. Um. But like any uh, any thoughts on like the the secret thought, dragon you fight at the very end, like in yeah, let's let's talk about that one real quick because that was a really really cool fight. It was and just the way you get to it is really interesting. How you have to lay in that yes, kind of like <laughs> coffin like thing and and weather the storm. Um, yeah, I mean this is this is similar to the other dragon fights that you have, except this one's like on on steroids essentially. Yeah. And I really liked his attack where you would see clouds of mist in mm-hmm. the sky. And then like on the third or fourth one, he'd come like swiping at you. Yeah. I just thought that was, that looked really cool. And yeah, it was a, it was a really cool, a really cool boss fight um, aesthetically. Yeah. It kind of yeah. got ruined for me. And I think this happens periodically for players, but when I got into like the third of his health, he stopped moving. He didn't attack anymore. So I just attacked and killed him until he died. Oh really? He, yeah. he kind of glitched out. He, he glitched out and froze. Um, so it kind of got ruined for me in that way. I didn't feel like I actually beat him, but other than that, it was still a it was still a fun, uh, a cool boss fight. Yeah, I I put him at at a B a B or an A. Um, um, I don't think he was too difficult, but yeah, I would say probably B is probably a good a good. Uh, what was it? Dragon Lord. Plas- yeah, it's ever on the right side. Plasid yeah. Like yeah. Um. Yeah. Really, really cool boss fight. Um uh do you want do you want to do you want to rapid fire these yeah let's do it let's do it just all the rest of them yeah just start you want to start from the just the left side and then the from the godskin apollo yeah we'll we'll just rapid fire and this this is just kind of the other again there's a lot more bosses than this but this is just what's on this list so we're just gonna do it um godskin i would probably say like a d i don't know yeah it's called d um oh wait is this the bigger guy or the smaller guy this is this is the skinnier guy I, I give him a C. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, Elmer of the Briar. This is like the kind of the 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 secret, not yeah, kind of a secret area that's not necessary at all. Um, oh, in the um, 
shaded temple Sh- shaded yeah yep or shaded castle shaded castle uh it's, it's just a tough boss fight um yeah i, I would probably I fought him pretty late so yeah um I, w- I would probably say like a b for this guy he was pretty tough okay what, what were you thinking i would say like a c okay c we'll do c. C. <laughs> <laughs> um the valiant gargoyles um this one I was I wasn't expecting it to be a two fight I because it's just the one at first and then the other one comes in and out of nowhere. Um, yeah, I was over leveled for this one. I was. So I, 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 I got them. through the first one. Yeah, pretty fast. So I, I uh, yeah. I would imagine that if I was um, appropriately leveled, this fight would be really annoying. Yeah. You so, so said like a D. Yeah, it's called a D. Okay. Um, Godskin Noble. I. Fat boy. D. 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 Yeah. Actually, no. Bring that down to F. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that guy. <laughs> the Godskin duo wouldn't be so bad if, if he wasn't well, it wouldn't be the duo, but he's the worst part of that fight. Um so this one they've got listed as the Crucible Knight and Misbegon. Misbegon. Yeah. I would say C for this one. This was I was super over leveled when I fought them, so I just destroyed them. Yeah. Um it- it's a cool concept, but again, I can see it being annoying if you're appropriately leveled and you're having trouble getting through Misbegotten and suddenly yeah. the Crucible Knight from earlier in the game shows up. Yep. <laughs> uh, the Lich Dragon Fortisax, which is the... Is boss... he in Faramazua? No, he is. He's where um, you, you complete Fia's quest it's right i think it's right after it's, it's after you oh, fight that's right that's right fia's champions um you mm-hmm. go through she you go into her dream or something and fight it it's a it's a cool it's a cool looking dragon but it's, but it's just, just a dragon yeah it's just a dragon so i mean i would probably put it like at c maybe c tier yeah yeah it's called a c okay uh fia's champions uh, i'd uh, say d for yeah, that one they're pretty any of the i really didn't struggle it on any of the npc um just fight also so over leveled at that point too exactly but. <laughs> uh the regal ancestor spirit um i oh. i came on this fight pretty early um so i was not over leveled it took me a few tries to beat it but it was a super cool fight i would call this one a b or b or an a i i would say a i really like let's this give fight. it an a let's give this one an a this one was really cool like just aesthetically it looked awesome um his moveset was pretty cool uh and he could like kind of jump through the air like um like a like torrent can kinda, like with a double jump. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. cool um leon misbegotten this was like one of the first few bosses i beat mm-hmm. um i would call this one like a c i think it was relatively easy if you had the right if you had the right weapon yeah and you, and you can stagger him um but he does hit pretty hard he does yeah so it is pretty challenging um flying dragon agil which one is this one this this uh, is this, this the one? might be the fairmazua one i don't yeah i think i just ran past that one yeah I, is I it, this too. is not the one that's after like the magma worm uh when you're when you're coming into atlas plateau and you you're coming between like those carriages and like he flies out of nowhere that's not the one right it might be it okay. might be I didn't fight either one of those. To be I didn't honest. either. I tried to go back and fight him at that area, but he was gone. Um, what, was... what did we put the other dragon at? Uh, C. I, I would yeah, probably... just call it a C. Okay. What would you say? I was D? gonna say D because he didn't do anything special. Like once he landed, that was just kind of it. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it. Okay. Yeah. We... I'll put him at a C. It's fine. Okay. Uh, and then Estelle, natural boy into the void. This was a an awesome, cool fight. Like straight this out of Bloodborne. Hard. I... Straight yeah. out of Bloodborne. He was difficult. I would call this one an A. Yeah, I, I would too. It was it was yeah. a it was a really cool looking fight. Um I guess it doesn't matter where I put it. There we go. Uh and then Dragon Kin Soldier. Oh, this was this was in it was, un, it was underground in the Ainsel Ainsel River. Was it in Noxtella or whatever? No, it was it was down in Ainsel where all the um it, it might have been the first time you ran into all the bugs. All the little, the big ants. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's 
certainly certainly optional. Like you don't need to, you don't even need to fight him to progress. So you might have missed him. I but, might have skipped him. But he's pretty big. He's like kind of like a giant. Okay. And he's got a couple of lightning attacks. Yeah, I, 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 would, have, I would call him like a C. Yeah, I may have missed him. I'm not quite sure. Okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I may have fought him. I can't. I just honestly can't remember. Yeah. Um. Cool. Yeah. So that's, that's that wraps it up. There's again, that's there's it. a ton more bosses in the game, but they're kind of a lot of them are repeated, um, and not not as not as cool. 